if I had the castle, I'd replay it in it so hard. I've always wanted to play at the Bocherous Fat King or the Dainty Princess. Don't judge me. <laughs> Cute. It is a little model launch pad of the bloody Krushkinov launch tragedy. Neat. You make my rocket launch. There is no time to play poorly funded space program. Sir, we need the rocket. Sorry, John, we've got to see what's next on. Help, my dog cheated on my wife. Like Papushka. No Loch Ness monster, but uh, we do have a flesh-eating virus. I could bottle it and sell it to middle-income earners as health water. Just got to get around the whole flesh-eating virus part. Now comes with that crisp, life-crippling taste. Welcome to Krush Bat Observatory. It was commissioned during the neo lukewarm War as a representation of Neo-Soviet Union strength. However, in secret, it was used as a cover for a missile silo, primarily to thwart any spy's credibility. Upon telling their governments that the large genital sculptures were nuclear weapon facilities, they were laughed out of the service, allowing the Neo-Soviet Union to have the best missile offensive at the time. I notice your use of academic references. I've always been into intelligent plex. Nice. Great access for the Seat Suicidals. Seat Suicidals being the local base jumping group. Are you into pirates? I downloaded like three seasons last night. After their first fall, they decided to do some remarketing. They were on all the social media. Neil Lennon even had a Let's Play channel. Until Let's play. they fell again. Like, comment, and conform. Yeah, girl. Let's make it work in theory. There is a crack which happens to be on a butt. Please, don't make me say it. <laughs> I'd make sure to wipe you clean every day. I wish more people would let me touch their butt cracks. I like there was a guy out there somewhere who thought oversized band-aids was a good business plan. I don't think I'll have a comically large boo-boo in the near future. You never know. I do not have a boo-boo big enough. I uh, don't have any witty comments. I specialize only in human mutant poop jokes. Mutant human poop jokes. But Observatory would not be the same without its bird poop stains. I'll leave it. <laughs> In the Gonboro culture, it's considered a delicacy. I made that up. <laughs> it is said that touching the butt gives you good luck. Mostly it makes your hand smell weird from all the other people touching it. I think I've picked up enough diseases just by looking at it. Ugh, I feel so dirty. It's a breast augmenter. Compulsory to all citizens of Krush. It's so hard hitting and truthful. It's made me rethink all my motivations. I can't wait to forget this in a few minutes. I can't just pick up such advanced social commentary. It's so edgy I could use it as an extra edge. Vibrating rocket. Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the Khan has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction? Then ripping the head off his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? Most people would say yes. They probably would be right. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working.
the cold. I am the cold. I am the cold. I am the cold. Know who that is? Piece of paper. Ow. Oh wow, it's an incredibly rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is truly a magical moment to behold. It looks like it uh, has some sort of message for me. Do you think? Sorry paper airplane bird, I had to open you up. Pooh paradigm. If I hold it too long, its mother won't take it back into the nest. I better not. <laughs> Hey, this is actually my trash bag. It's 80% full of cereal boxes, 20% of self-loathing. Self-loathing. I am no garbage man. I am an unemployed man. Going through my own trash would only make me more aware of my terrible lifestyle. It is a crane which is hanging conveniently over the cone trademark. With a claw like that, you could grasp anything you like. Oh yeah. You would think this would be the solution to get rid of the cone, especially with the crane hanging conveniently over him, but it is most definitely not. That sign creeps me the hell out. Somehow I know it's got to do with my past, but I blocked it out mostly with fat beasties and vodka. I find a lot of computer parts for my shop here, but mostly I find self-loathing. I already have enough useless junk in my life as it is. I have enough junk in my shop as it is. An English police hat. It's one of those terrible plastic policeman dress-up helmets. The great thing with these, all you need to do is wear nothing but the helmet, and you've got yourself a sexy police costume. Be wary of real policemen if you decide to go this route. Can I pick that one up? Oh yes, I'm gonna have the sexiest police costume. All right. Cutting edge special effects, impressive. Thanks. It would be great to have at least one fan, even if it is an inanimate one. However, I'll leave it be for now. In all honesty, if I own the cape. I would probably do the same thing every once in a while. That's the only car left in Krush. There used to be more. Then people got hoverboards. Then people got the radiation sickness. People don't ride hoverboards anymore. I won't even download the car, let alone steal one. If only I could. The amount of sick driss I'd do would be insane. <laughs> I know you're scared, Chodicon, but the cone trademarked will be back. I don't need the cone anymore. <laughs> I don't really need to stop any traffic today. I use Nidu. Neat. They are like the lucky dip for diseases. I'm sure it might be handy to contract a life-threatening disease, but to be honest, I think it would just weigh me down. I don't feel like playing Lucky Disease Deep today. Hey, that's my washing machine. Rest in peace, little guy. You slayed a many a coffee stain. Shh, 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 shh. You're in a better place now. I put it here for a reason. With a tear in my eye, of course. <laughs> Rest in peace. It's already served its purpose valiantly. I wish my arm fell off. I would totally replace it with a cyborg arm. Yeah. Definitely. Cyborg. If it was a cyborg arm, yes. I would pick it up. What? Plastic arms don't really tickle my fancy. Cyborg arms, on the other hand, they really tickle my fancy. 
one cone to caution them all. Come on, do I look like I have the upper body strength? I pray to you, almighty cone gods, give me strength to avoid deep holes and responsibility. This appears to be the cone's abode. He's dirty, dirty abode. It appears to be a mannequin with a wig on. Alright, finally I can take your head. What the hell? It's not coming off. Detachable my ass. I need to get it off somehow. Finally, my dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. Call the support. A few hours later. Wow. That only took me 8 hours to cut through with the Krush army spoon. I was estimating at least 10. Take that Swiss army knife. <laughs> Ugh. There is an old Krush proverb. Never Swiss enter the home of a man who wears no pants. Not a drug dealer's house. This must be it. I really should just bring this to the drug dealer. Uh, hello? Uh, I've got the, the head now. C can I, uh, can I come in now? Impressive. Stand back a bit and I'll open the gates. Well, come. Bitch. Okay. See that? <laughs> it's like the gate is talking. You've read Stephen King before, right? Heh. <laughs> Heh. Yeah. Good one. Nights, 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 nights. Sir? Sir! I've been waiting here all day. Can you please see to us? It doesn't seem like you're doing anything. Hang on, I'm doing really secretary stuff. Ting, ting, ah. All right, all paint. done. What do you need? I have a complaint. Complaints? Oh, wonderful. It's what I live for. Our it's son, what I live for. Our Prodigy child that we bought on the 22nd of January 2016 is faulty. What do you mean, faulty? They aren't budget, no name electronics that break, crushing your children's hopes and dreams on Christmas morning. They'll say, Why doesn't Santa love us, Mummy? Why did he give us broken presents? Should have just bought the official one, but no, you wanted to save a few bucks. He is faulty. All right, calm down, miss. What seems to be the problem? He... he... he wants to become an artist. Jesus Christ, Mom! I'm not an artist. I'm a two-dimensional... <laughs> oh, God, do you see? He's tearing our family apart. Faulty! All right, all right. We've seen this before. Can you please sign these papers? And if you don't mind, little Johnny? Stand on that little circle thing over there. Hey, man. I don't conform to your ideals. Go slay some dragons, you inconsiderate pig. What if I told you that over there, on the circle there, is a gluten-free mocha papito latte? Really? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, miss. This has been a fault with the oldest line of prodigy children. Again, I apologize. Just sign the waiver here and we'll get you the replacement. Ah, uh, if it was only that easy. Okay. Looks like it's been done by an anti Warhol clone. A literal clone, that is. But Shinsuke didn't really have much when it came to culture, so they just cloned celebrities to counteract that. The anti Warhol clone made hundreds of these. They're useless. They're useless. <laughs> Use it to increase my culture? I don't really feel any different, except maybe an added air of superiority. I've seen my fair share of genetically enhanced talking octopods, 
but one that is an apathetic retail cashier, it is truly an honor to experience this. Uh -huh. The internet has taught me that I shouldn't, or should I? Depends on your preference, I guess. Okay. I'm pretty sure she has been exploited already. Hello? Welcome to Hiroshi's Corner, your friendly local drug dealing vending machine. We get you really high, and please don't die. Unless you have signed the appropriate paperwork. <laughs> I'd like to purchase some drugs, please. Certainly, sir. What drugs were you looking for? Space dust, please. Please take your super fun, cool drug enthusiast tokens and place them in the correct slot on the right. And remember, we get you really high, and please don't die. I don't have any tokens with unnecessarily long names. Ugh. All right, well... Just get a super fun, cool drug enthusiast token from the blob of flesh over there, and then you can get some drugs. Now please, can you leave me to my entitled apathy? What is super crack? Unlike regular crack, super crack gives you superpowers. What kind of superpowers? After eating super crack, you get super euphoria. Isn't that just like, uh, regular crack? No, not according to our lawyers, anyway. We also own the rights to Super Super Crack. What about Super Super Crack? That's something really special. Gets you high for six months straight. The hallucinations and psychosis from sleep deprivation alone is worth it. If you want it, I need at least three forms of ID, your life insurance number, and a high-res photo of your ankle. Why the last part? I'll be totally honest, I don't need the photo. I just like to see how far I can go before customers notice what I ask for. You'd be surprised. I own at least three human souls. I want to ask you something else. How did you get this job? A pretty easy application process of being taken out of the ocean, mutated, then forced into a non-paying retail job. On the upside, I get to wear this hat, I guess. You don't get to do that in the ocean. It just isn't practical. Do you get tea bricks? Yes, actually. Frankly, it's the only thing I won't complain about. I freaking love tea. Refreshing like water, but a little more satisfying, you know? Like a treat, but one that doesn't make you feel fat. Of course I don't have breaks! I'm an enslaved, mutated octopus in a vending machine! What is the drug dealer like? Pretty paranoid, dude. He just assumes that the police are after him because of all the movies he watches. When, in fact, space dust is completely legal and actually backed by the Kruish government. Pretty good cash flow, and its addicts are more productive than the alcoholics. That's why governments love it so much. The Eastern European ones, anyway. Where I come from, in the ocean, there was only semen as our government. Dude liked to French kiss fish a lot. I hesitate to call him a leader. I'll come back later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. I'll try to make the best out of eternal slavery. Is this space dust? Oh, it's just piles and piles of little papers with dead jokes on them. One says, I am a dad. I am responsible for my children and being witty. This is too much stress and responsibility for me to handle. I'm not sure whoever wrote these understands how jokes work. <laughs> I have yet to father a child to necessitate taking these. Or have I? D definitely not. Not because I am completely infertile or anything. I am just socially incompetent. I can't use them all at the same time. Their jokes aren't a power to be trifled with. That's right. 